This new Air Force fire truck may be red on the outside, but on the inside it's all green. Environmentally green, that is, thanks to new idle reduction technology, or IRT. Uh, the idle reduction technology um, lowers the truck's emissions output by utilizing an auxiliary power unit to run all the necessary power equipment and uh, lights and all that while we're on scene. Dispatch engine 8 on scene, building 324, establishing medical command. 80% of Air Force Fire Department emergency responses, like emergency medical calls, are not fire related and don't require the use of the vehicle's water pump that is powered by the main engine. On calls like these, the driver applies the parking brake and the idle reduction technology system automatically counts down. After two minutes, the system shuts down the main engine and simultaneously transitions to an onboard generator to supply enough power for essentials like National Fire Protection Association required emergency lights, communication equipment, and heating or air conditioning systems. This saves wear and tear on the main engine and dramatically reduces fuel consumption. Typically a diesel engine, while it's sitting idle, will use anywhere between one and a quarter gallons to one and a half gallons over a one hour period, where the IRT will utilize one quart. In the event the pump is needed, a simple flip of the switch transitions back to the main engine and firefighting operations can begin. Firefighters who have used the new IRT enabled vehicles say they've already noticed a big reduction in fuel use. Over the past, we usually fuel the vehicles here at Moody about twice a week. And on average, since we've had this truck, it's only requiring to get fueled once a week. Idle reduction technology will be available in 74 new fire vehicles this year across the Air Force, including structural pumpers, rescue trucks, and water tankers. This means a green fire truck may be responding at your base soon.